This can come back a little bit more. Ah, in hell. Hello YouTubers, it's this off mic and guess what? <laughs> As you can see, right here in front of me, I've built up a nice little collection of Berettas. Various Berettas, you've got your Storms, yeah, your PX4s, your 92s, your M9s, your 92 FS. Yes, I'm a fan of Glock, a big fan of Glock. And if you've been on my Facebook page, you can see why I'm getting even more excited about Glock, as in Glock, the real steel manufacturers of Glock, and what they're doing for us in the community, head over to my Facebook page or my Twitter account if you want to know what I'm talking about. Now, today's video is to show you that I'm also a fan of Beretta. I know Beretta is not to everyone's taste, especially the 92s and the M9s, but I absolutely love them. So, if I just gradually start to move these out of the way, Today's video is a shoot-off. Well, no, not a shoot-off. Basically, I'm going to compare the WeTech Samurai Edge Airsoft Pistol against the Tokyo Marui one. Now, straight away you're gonna say it's a bit unfair because this has all your nice accessories and it looks all blinged out. And believe it or not, even though this is predominantly made out of plastic, strong, durable plastic, it's actually heavier. <laughs> than this full metal WeTech one. Reason being, full metal mag, as you would have seen in my first original video of this pistol, which is doing really well. It's already hit over half a million views. Wow. Anyway, thanks for that. And yeah, apart from the metal mag, there's metal internals and this suppressor right here, which Tokyo Marui calls a silencer, is also metal. Right, so what I'm gonna do today is slightly different to the last time I did a comparison between two Airsoft pistols. Remember this? Live from Airsoft Mike's Airsoft Studios, in the blue corner, the four times heavyweight Airsoft Desert Eagle champion of the world, Tokyo Marui! And in the red corner, one of the fastest selling airsoft desert eagles in the world, Cyber Gun KWC! It's all about the Cyber Gun! Metal! Uh, yeah, enough of that. In that one, I gave my opinion and I also gave my points. In this one, I'm gonna leave it to you. I'm gonna put a little poll up here and you can decide which one is better, Tokyo Marui or WeTech when it comes to these Samurai Edge Airsoft Pistols. Now, to make it fair, the first thing I have to do is take off all the la -di da fancy stuff off of this one to give them an equal standing. Okay, so here it is stripped down, nothing on it, apart from the fact that it does have this rather cool lower rail. Again, I'm not gonna be giving points and I'm not gonna give my opinion. I'm just gonna show you both, show you the features of both. You make up your mind which one you think looks better, which you think functions better, and which you think will last a lot longer than the other. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to compare the boxes. Now, I know <laughs> there's absolutely no competition between this Yes, it's a nice color sticker on the front. And they've made a little effort by including this right here on the inside, the Samurai Edge standard mod card. But, come on, you know and I know there's absolutely no competition with this. Beautiful Tokyo Marui packaging as always. So we'll just take this off. Um, I don't need to show you absolutely everything. I've already shown you uh, most of this in the original review I did for this particular one. Nice 
tough, rugged case, and the packaging is second to none. Now, if we look at the pistols themselves, yes, the WeTech full metal, the Tokyo Marui, <clears throat> a lot of plastic involved, but very tough, durable plastic. Personally, I prefer a metal pistol, but when it comes to internals, most people know that Tokyo Marui are far superior. Some people say they're overrated. Some people say they are definitely far superior to WeTech. But the thing I love about WeTech, as naughty as they can be sometimes, they practically make every single, well almost, every single real steel pistol into an airsoft version. That's what I love about WeTech. However, quality control, um, now I don't believe for one minute that these WeTech pistols are made in Europe. Even though it says we Airsoft Europe. I believe all that's happening here is that they're all made in Taiwan and of course it even tells you that on the pistol itself by this sticker right there. And it even says so on the bottom right hand corner of the box. But the quality control is all dealt with in Europe. So they get shipped over here and before they go to the retailers and then on to you, we Europe steps in and does some quality control, then put their badge on the box and then it gets shipped out. Tokyo Marui, on the other hand, a fully Japanese based and Japanese made airsoft products. And that's what I love. It's quite refreshing to have airsoft products that come from another country other than just Taiwan. Nothing wrong with Taiwan. Most of my airsoft guns are from Taiwan but you've got to love a Japanese airsoft pistol. The only thing I dislike about Tokyo Marui is that they're nearly always made out of plastic. Now that is down to Japanese law, but boy do I wish they would open up a factory in Europe or in Taiwan even, and start shipping out some metal versions of their airsoft guns, because I'm telling you now, yes, you can get metal upgrades for these things by, I think, I think one company is called Garda, but anyway, you can get metal upgrades, but imagine if Tokyo Marui themselves made metal airsoft pistols. I'm telling you now, that would be the only brand i go to for airsoft pistols, if they made them all in metal. So, have you made up your mind so far? What one do you think is better? Tokyo Marui or WeTech? Right, so let's get rid of these. And now let's concentrate on how both of these models look compared to each other. Look at the grip on this Tokyo Marui Airsoft Pistol. Now look at the logo on the grip on both sides, of course. It's absolutely done to perfection. There's absolutely no flaw on that at all. Now look, this is the WeTech version. Now, if you look at both of these pistols, they both have simulated wood. Now, why they didn't just put real wood, I don't know. That would be absolutely amazing if either of them just used real wood. However, having said that, despite the fact that WeTech are seen as the cheap, nasty cousins of Tokyo Marui, look how gorgeous their simulated wood looks. It absolutely looks like real wood with a bit of varnish on it. But then look at Tokyo Marui. That too looks absolutely gorgeous. Now I'd like you to take a look at both slides on both of these airsoft pistols. Now they've obviously both simulated that sort of edge design, as you can see on the top here, I'm using the WeTech to point to the Tokyo Marui and likewise the other way around. Can you see that sort of jagged edge design there? Reason why it's called the Samurai Edge. Would you say they've both pretty much got it right? And they look just as good as each other? Now, just in case you're gonna start commenting down below, but hold on, they're not exactly the same model, of course not. We all know that this is the Albert W model 01 or 01, so there are differences. Um, you can see that straight away. You can see here that the actual hammers on both of these pistols are different. The Tokyo Marui one has more of a skeletonized hammer, 
which I think is really cool. And the WeTech one, it's just got a little hole going through the hammer. And you can see there are more differences, like right here, much more prominent on the Tokyo Marui and less so on the WeTech. Now, I have purposefully not put either of these pistols on safe because I, I obviously want to show you everything about these airsoft pistols. So, they're identical. There's really nothing between the two. They look absolutely identical, apart from the fact that one of them's metal, one's plastic, sorry. Sorry, I know I'm not supposed to be talking about what they're made out of. We've done that. Ha! I gotcha. No, actually, the actual safety mechanism on this Toki Marui is made out of metal also. So no, it's not always about plastic on Toki Marui pistols. Now, I said we've done the whole plastic and metal thing. I wasn't going to talk about that anymore, but I just did. I'm sorry. Also, the, the hammer is also metal. Right, no more comparisons about plastic and metal. We've done it, okay? We've done that to death, okay? Okay, the trigger is also metal. Anyway, moving along. <laughs> right, so let's have a look at the sights on these bad boys. Now, as you can see, they are identical. I'm doing my best not to point these at me directly because, you know, it's all about safety. Now, if you look very closely to the inner barrels of both of these airsoft pistols, you will see that the Token Marui has a much narrower, tighter in a barrel. What does that mean? Well, basically, its accuracy should be better than the WeTech, because normally, tighter in a barrels mean better accuracy. Now, that's not me giving my opinion. Remember, it's not for me to give my opinion in this video. It's just to show you all the different functions and you know features of both pistols, and you make up your mind which one's better, simple as that, because some people say, I'm a Tokyo Maru fanboy, but if you see the amount of WeTechs I've got, you could also say that about WeTech too. So I'm not going to give an opinion because most of you that know me will know which manufacturer I believe or feel is superior. Right, the magazine. Tokyo Marui WeTech. Identical in design, identical in dimensions. Well, there might be the slightest bit of difference in the magazine follower and a smidgen bit of difference somewhere else on the mag but basically to the naked eye they look exactly the same just not identical in how they look in terms of color i know which one i prefer but let's just see if they are interchangeable here's the WeTech pistol here's the Toki marui mag of course they're interchangeable i've not even put it in yet and i'm saying of course because we all know WeTechs are just clones of Tokyo Marui. That looks kind of cool, actually. <laughs> Silver chrome mag in the WeTech. Very nice. Let's do the same with the Tokyo Marui one with the WeTech mag. Nice. Okay, so the next thing we're going to look at is your mag releases. Now, you've got a much more prominent mag release on the Tokyo Marui one. Look at that big old thing right there. And then you've just got that little button right there on the WeTech one. It was at this point where I realised I made a boo-boo. I shouldn't be comparing these two airsoft pistols. They're two different models. I should be comparing like for like because there is an exact Tokyo Marui model of this WeTech Samurai Edge. Ugh, but I continued anyway. Right, so here we are at the internals, okay, of the lower receiver. Now, if we're gonna be really simple about things, oh my gosh, how gorgeous does all that silveriness or chromeness look inside the Tokyo Marui? Awesome. But this is made out of, me you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this is it. That's it, I'm uplifting the ban on the talk about metal or plastic because it is so relevant. As gorgeous as this Tokyo Marui looks internally, and it looks very well built, compared to the WeTech, the WeTech is metal. Now, as you can see, let me just grab my little pointer. Can you see right there in the WeTech, it's, like it's joined together those two sides right here look there's a seam right there and there's a seam right there that's on the WeTech let's have a quick look at the Tokyo Marui look no seam 
And what looks like a seam here really isn't. If you look very closely, if I bring it to the side, it's not actually a seam, look. Right, so we're having a look at the inside of the slides of both the WeTech and the Tokyo Marui. Now to the untrained eye, you'd pretty much say identical really. Yeah, the springs might be a different color and the Tokyo Maruri spring is a little bit longer and tighter. You'd pretty much say it's the same thing. But look at the guide rod on the Tokyo Maruri right here compared to the WeTech one. I'm not saying anything. I'm just showing you the difference. Now another thing I'd like to point out about these slides, yes, the WeTech full metal, but even though this Token Marui has a plastic slide, all of the inner walls on the Token Marui slide, like along here and the same on the other side and further down and on this side, it's all metal. So it's all reinforced with metal, the Token Marui. And it's the same with the lower receiver on the Tokyo Maruri. Yes, again, we take it's all metal, so no issues there. But although the Tokyo Maruri is all plastic on the outside here, this entire piece right here, going across here and down this side and down here, it's all reinforced metal. And another thing I would like to point out is that if you look at the Tokyo Maruri one in this hand, can you see the hop-up adjustment wheel? Hopefully most of you now would know what that looks like, but let me just point it, just in case I've got absolute brand new people into Airsoft watching. There's your hop-up adjustment right there on the Tokyo Marui. Let me bring the WeTech one back in. <coughs> Where's the hop-up adjustment wheel? Free cookie, and that's an internet cookie, to anyone that can spot where the hop-up adjustment wheel is on the WeTech. Well, actually, it doesn't have one, but it is hop-up adjustable. You do it via a tiny little screw hidden away. Very inconvenient, but I'm not judging. I'll say nothing more. And that's where I decided, you know what? I'm not filming anymore. I was going to do a shooting test and compare the two and everything. And then again, something in my head was saying these are two different models. You should really be comparing like for like. And that's why I never did upload this video.